Bardo! I didn't even make the noise. Oh no. That's worrying. Ow! Back on Earth? Ops. Bardo! I thought if Noel was the killer, his motive had to be his father's death. And yet he seemed to accept that his father's death, his father's death, like it was natural. Yeah, because he killed him. Well, not like it puts Noel in the clear, but Sirius is one thing. But I don't know why he killed Ash too. Yeah, everyone loves killing Sirius. Huh? Come to think of it, corpse. No, that can't be right. Uh oh, who is it? It's your worst nightmare, motherfucker. Time to die. Hey, good evening. What are you being scary? Oh, no. What's the matter? I was just thinking about you murdering people. I decided I'm going to reveal something I've been keeping hidden from you. You- he's gonna pop a fucking cap on you! Namely, why I wasn't in my room. Why I lied and put up that note. Is it just me, or is he acting funny? Yeah, this is probably isn't Noel, this is the killer. Well, why's that? <laughs> well... When morning comes, you'll know. Huh? Noel had a strange air about him as he spoke. The emotion vanished from his eyes. His golden hair melted into the darkness. My cock was throbbing. It was like, yeah, like he wasn't of this world. I'm going to stay here until morning. You can see it with your own eyes. And you'll stay here until morning, too. I won't let you leave this room. Hmm. He's just gonna shoot you. Sounds like you've got an idea. <laughs> Don't worry. Once this is over, you'll be able to leave this mansion, too. You. I'm the one who locked this mansion. If you want to leave safely, listen to me. You'll see at the end of this mansion here with me. I don't know what you're thinking. But I didn't feel like going out tonight anyway. I'll stay here. Yeah, stay here on your table, staring at your table. For the time being, I'll do as you say. Did you not go to bed or something, Valardo? It's like three in the morning, you're just sitting at your table. The night wore on. And... Valardo? Who the fuck is this individual? Is this purple guy? Purple guy from FNAF? Get my axe, pick up my axe, my axe is my buddy. Uh, can I look at anything? Dates lots of emergency rations. Dates lots of emergency rations. Hey, boxes of labels, dried meat. How much meat do you have in your house? And why is it down here, of all places? Uh, attack, a stack of firewood. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. The barrel is empty. 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 What is this? Uh, I guess uh, Sirius is remains. Sirius is core. Chunks of Sirius. The wall. The the thing that mounts the axe on the wall is still here. By the way, you can see like the little like hooks for it. <laughs> we just mounted it on the floor instead. Polardo! I'm coming to fucking get you, Polardo. Oh, I just phased through the carpet. Cool. I'm a ghost. Scary. Ooh, scary. Can I go into the toilet as this person? Is what I'm wondering. Can I pause? I can't pause. Ooh, spooky status. I keep looking down at my coins and expecting it to say 69, 420, or 420, 69. And like, this is close. This one's close. This has 69 in it and 460, which is not 420, but. Oh, yeah, I'll save and see what it says. Tap it. Where is it? Yes, please. Add them to the archive. Do it. Add them for me, babe. And if I go here, if I go save again, what shows? Ooh, spooky! Less HP than Claire, though. So, uh, don't know about that one. I'm the kill Luna, where are the No reason to go in this room. I mean, I have no reason to go in any of these rooms. But, uh, what am I doing? Oh, wrong button. Uh, do I kill Claire? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just try to kill Claire? Well, Arto! It's locked. Not for long. How many keys do you have?
Is this gonna just make me instantly dissipate? I'm just gonna go bah! to a puff of fucking smoke, or am I not even? Mm -hmm. I mean that fucking wine, baby. Oh yes. I hope I don't get murdered in my sleep. Not the give. There's no ways to give. Ash? What? Dark Ash? <laughs> How many times is this fucker? Of course, of course, I knew something had the nose. Something was wrong when Ash died because it never happens. Hey, no. Fucking scalpel as well. Jesus Christ, man. Use an axe. Be more civilized. If it wasn't you who killed us two, well, then it's a shame about Ash. It's never a shame about Ash. Oh, huh? Ash? No, oh, I was glad he's dead. I mean, you guys seem like you were pretty friendly. Did we? We talked once. We had one conversation. Even while you were napping all day, you let Ash into your room, right? Huh? Oh, that. Hey, what's with that look? Ash told me he went into your room because you asked him to, right? What are you talking about? Ask him what? Ah, uh, to wake you up around noon. I... I don't... remember asking Ash anything like that. Sprint out, sprint out, sprint out. It's too late though. Yep. Hey, no! Oh, some status here, static here, footsteps. Really, Ash? You already got it out. Fucking stop. There it is. The witch's heart. Why are you dressed as a fucking assassin, Ash? You didn't get rid of your stupid hole game, but you got rid of your braid. It's finally over. My long journey ends here. Finally, my wish can come true. I'm gonna meet Santa Claus in person. <laughs> and now... Now... Everyone can come back. I mean, I assumed it was his whole family being dead because of the photo, but... Oh, that's it! Hmm, well, I'm obviously, there's obviously going to be more after the cooking credits. But, uh, interesting. I mean, yeah, of course Ash didn't die. Uh... Oh, Claire Alfred, I thought that was Ash for a sec. Yo, wait, guys! Claire didn't get shot in the head! Woo! Instead, she was stabbed repeatedly and uh, called out for help and uh, drained on her own blood as her chest was ripped open. This music, Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, Arno Park just came in and fucking shot her in the head anyway, just for good measure. Culprit of this story, murder's clear and takes the witch's heart. I mean, uh, there's bonus, so the game's not done, but uh, that was interesting. Of course, that wily little fucking twink came back again. Um, where the fuck did he get an extra corpse from? I'm gonna question that. I guess it was just serious in his clothes. But where? what about the extra parts? Died in the purple room on the night of day three. Cause of that stab by Ash. Purple room? Oh yeah. I guess, okay, he stabbed them, brought them downstairs, and then fucking chippity chopped them. But it really looked like there was two bodies uh, the second time. It makes sense though. Fucking how could Sirius keep dying? This is a lot of shit, man. Every single time Sirius and Claire dies, and fucking Willardo and Ash survive. It's bullshit. Morning day five, he reveals the secret he told no one. What's the point? 
What's the point in revealing it? You're just revealing it to fucking Gallardo and Ash. The two wily swings who keep killing your fucking best friend. Well. Uh, uh, I mean, we're going to go on to the bonus. I mean, immediately after this. Um, that was fun. That was a fun time. Uh, good job killing uh, Claire again, Ash, you fucking asshole. Now everyone can come back. Yeah, is Claire as well? Does she count? Or are you just going to revive your family, you little shithead? Your little psychopathic family. <sighs> I mean, I don't even know how to comment over this. I'm just, I'm in shock, to be honest. Sorusano? Pesutora? Sumoldi? Hey, Rouge, how's it going? What's the crack? How old are you supposed to be? Are you another fucking six year old? I can't tell with you. Everything is as the demons wish it. For this story to end in the way you want it is simply inconceivable. How do you know that's not the way I want it to end? Hmm? Hmm? The only thing you can do is give up. The witch's heart drives everything mad. Foolish humans will surely always dance for it. Now, to ask one last time. Do you have... a wish you'd be willing to kill for? The demonic pact was made. Will his foolish feelings ever reach the demons? Mayor Alfred, with her death, curtains close on this story. Hey, fucking bloody down here, yeah? That was an experience. That was certainly an experience. Definitely what I would describe that as is experiential in nature. Yep. Sit here for another five, ten seconds. Anyone want to tell me anything? Uh, no? Okay. Okay, I'll see you. Everyone's just ignoring me, I guess. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, game is over next. And uh, no. And uh, no. God fucking damn it. And now. Why won't you end game now? <sighs> Wait for it. Three, two, one. God, I was too fast. I was too fast. Well, now we got to see what the fuck the crack is. When you walk in on Noel killing your friend. Oh no, it's daytime. So you walked in on him and then you hurt not Noel. You walked in on Ash killing your friend. And you're like, ah, it's all right. Is this Ash's book? Writings of a certain traveler. After the many lengths I went to to obtain the witch's heart, I made my wish into it. However, nothing happened. Perhaps I'm using it the wrong way? If so, then I must look into it further. Oh, someone fell over. God, someone drank a lot of fucking soda. Got some gas. You! A mass of flesh with hardly any form, covered in many bloodshot eyes. Uh, the toilet's gone. The fuck? I don't know why, but it appeared very angry. What do you mean you don't know why? Perhaps this was the monster Miss Claire had spoken of the other day. In truth, I'd known of this monster long before I came to this mansion. The first time I saw it was in an old newspaper clipping. A eerie monster living in Witch's Mansion. The article had some title like that. 
so hard to believe that such a bizarre monster existed. I recall feeling fear when I read the article. The witch Dorothy. A suffocatingly strong odor pierced my nose. Claire must have wet the bed. The smell of rotting meat approached me. Even after what I've learned in my research and the rumors I'd learned, I've, I'd heard. The monster was far more hideous, grotesque, and horrifying than even I imagined. Mission riddles, fantasy worlds. Oh, bless me. To be continued. Monster was disgusting. Nice piece of ass, though. How the fuck did I get hundred and like hundred and like twelve rainbow crystals last time, or not rainbow crystals points last time? If I fucked up like the meal, I think I only made one meal last time. Blue shog. I got like no crystals because don't I don't do the mini games. Because I value my time, what can I say? Okay, the winner with this time was Ash. Which means my bet wins, so I'll be taking those chips. Man, I lost again. You did bet on the most weak little fucking twig. It was quite a close one though. Not for serious. That sucks! All right, get ready for the next go. Do you think he'll keep going? Oh, he'll continue, no doubt. No one's a very persistent. Gosh, won't he just give up? It's impossible. Hey, you bastards. What are you doing? Oh, Rouge. Just betting. Betting? We're betting on who kills Claire! Incidentally, I keep on losing. Well, you won once. I thought it was in who survives, but no, this makes more sense. Won't even have enough to buy a snack tonight. Hoo hoo hoo. Hmm. Sure sounds like another one of your stupid games. Well, out with it. How are you betting? I'm betting on Ash. I'm going serious. He doesn't win often, but he's got a really good payout. Okay, that makes sense. I'm betting on Willardo. He wins often and pays out well. You wanna join in, Rouge? You're gonna bet on Noel. Is no one betting on Noel? What, you mean Noel getting what he wants? Claire surviving and leaving the mansion? Well, yes. <laughs> Why would anybody bet on that? Yeah, that just sounds like a waste of chips. No, no, I might bet on it once. Three chips, maybe. Three chips can buy a cupcake, though! That's so wasteful! So wait, Lady Rouge, you aren't saying that's what you bet on. <laughs> there's a gamble, and then there's that. And that's exactly why I have no part- I'll have no part in your stupid betting. But this situation's beginning to get a bit stale. It just goes around and around and around. I'm getting tired of it. Tired? Right. Let's add some spice. I'm sure you're starting to feel there's something lacking, aren't you? Are you gonna add like zombies? Are you gonna give everyone fucking machine guns? Yes, it's all becoming a bit routine. So, what do you propose? I propose a carrot and stick approach. Carrot and stick? In other words, we prop them up. Yes. Since that man refuses to give up, we'll give him an outrageous crisis and an opportunity. Next time, we'll prepare a different kind of story. Well then, may we meet again. We'll be waiting in the bonus stage. Uh, you say to me? Rouge is speaking to me, guys. Rouge is speaking out of my TV and, and to me. Wait, yeah, why don't they bet on Claire accidentally killing herself? Record the story of the fracture.
Do, 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 do. 20 HP. Do I have any saves as Ash? I don't. Crud. Crud, man. Absolute fucking crud, bro. Absolute crud. God. Oh. Well, back in heaven again. Whee! Um. Yeah, frick. I guess we'll do the bonus stage next. Interesting! Uh, I mean, I'll probably stick this into this video, maybe. I'll see what the editing's like, but I'll do this now and uh, see what the deal is. But if not, goodbye. Uh, the video is ending in three, two, one. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to make sure it saves, though. Wow. Hey, everyone. This might be a new video, but probably not. Oh, yeah. There's like paintings for everyone here now. What age are you? Mordred or Rouge? Height 158. Age question mark. Okay. Has no interest in anything ex expensive other than roses. Roses aren't expensive? They're flowers. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Noel. Portrait of Noel Levine. Height 182. 5 foot 11. You're only 5 foot 11? How fucking short is everyone else? You're like taller than everyone else. I thought you were like 6 foot 3 or something. Age 23. Blood A. Birthday December 25th. Noel's lots of trivia about things he likes, but doesn't know much about anything else. So how tall are you? Sirius Gibson? 5 foot 7? Man. Seems to have noticed discernment for wine. He's good at guessing ages. Guessing ages of people or ages of wine? Um, is there a, Oh, there is a Claire. Was this here before? Portrait of Claire. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me out of here. 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 We're done. We're done. We're, we're done. Get out. Get out. Fuck you. Okay, let's go. 24 years ago. Hold on. I'm going to say no because I didn't read it. I'm sorry. I just pressed through it. 24 years ago. Happiness and misfortune's beginning. 24 years ago. Was I born? No, only 23. Bernardo. 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 Right, so you'll be Fiona's partner. So my mother? Do a good job, Charlotte. <laughs> so you finally become a pack partner yourself. Uh, Fiona Elford. Understood. Lead me to it? I don't know. I pressed I pressed X because I didn't think it would do this to me. But it did it to me. It did it to me like it always does. Wait, I'm gonna tab it real quick. Uh, give me some dialogue so I can tab it. Do it. Do it. No balls. Are you, are you drunk, Fiona? Sorry, one moment. One moment. I'm gonna... Got an audio mixer on, which makes ecstatic happen sometimes. Here we go. Boop. Get the sense. Uh, yep. Okay. Boop. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Do I make Fiona Elfer drunk? I don't think it's. I don't think it's uh, like a biological thing. I just think that I, she didn't raise clear enough. Huh? What? Why is there a lolly in my house? Who are you? Where did you just come from? <laughs> Does it really matter? Hello there, Miss Fiona Elford. My name is Charlotte. You see, you and I are bound by a certain pact. Pact? Yes, a demonic pact. So did you impregnate Fiona? So in short, short, you're a demon. And somebody went and used my name to sign a contract? Well, sort of like that. I wonder if it was my mom. I wish she wouldn't do weird stuff without asking me. <laughs> Will you use my demonic power? What? No, not when you ask me out of the blue. That's kind of scary. In fact, I, can I not break this pact or anything? Not without the contract. Uh, so I can't, huh? What should I do? Well, until you use my demonic power or break the pact, I'll accompany you. Huh? But isn't that hard for you? Hard? It's just my job. I don't think anything of it. Ah, uh, is that right? Well, nice to meet you, Charlotte. What? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, you're staying with me, right? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> My regards! Fiona stuck out her right hand, asking me for a handshake. She forcefully grabbed my right hand and squeezed it tight. A strange girl. This was my first impression of Fiona. I waited and waited after that, 
but Fiona never used the witch's heart. I'm gonna wish for a better daughter, maybe. Oh god, it's so bright out here. Dude, dude, dude. Charlotte, you don't seem to be human, but do you eat and stuff? There's nothing I can't do. But no, I don't need to. Oh yeah? Well then. Take this! I bought this muffin earlier, and they've got really good ones here. Oh, oops. Once you take one bite, you'll be a slave to its flavor. I don't need it. I just told you, it's not necessary. But it's not like you can't eat, yeah? It's a waste not to eat this. You're missing out big time. Come on, it's thanks for always being friendly. Don't sweat it. I don't get what you mean. Gonna show it in your mat? Fiona was absurdly stubborn about it, so I got annoyed and decided to eat the muffin. <laughs> sure, I thought it was tasty, but after Fiona talked it up so much, I didn't think it was all that. <laughs> but... Why is this girl grinning so much when she's even the she's not even the one eating it? This bizarre sight troubled me. Yeah, she was a strange girl. Runs in the family. Runs in the family. Mm-hmm. Do you look happy? What's up? <laughs> you met a beautiful man? What? Charlotte? Want to hear something? Yeah, I'm listening. Don't be so, so uppity about it. Um, you see... I've become a mother. Mother? Ah! Oh, you mean you're having a kid? Yeah, that's right. Fiona patted her belly and smiled softly. <laughs> Did you just eat her? Mmm! Um. Fucking Markiplier over here. Is that something you get so happy about? Huh? I mean, I can hardly imagine anything happier myself. <laughs> Don't know about that one. Is the father that happy-go-lucky guy who lives with you? Yes. <laughs> I suppose he is rather carefree. But he's a very kind person. So I'm really happy right now. I... I didn't really understand how Fiona felt. After all, I never had a child. In fact, I never had a mother either. Stop the stomach. Can I touch your stomach? Please do it with your scissors. Even I didn't really know why those words came out, but... I just sort of felt an interest in that thing she was holding so dear. Of course! Go ahead! Why do they keep making these fucking psychopaths hold them? It's not fair. That's enough. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to meet them. My heart ached. Something was swelling up in me. I didn't really know what it was, but I couldn't help but feel awful. Aww. Hold on. Charlie! Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, Lime. I'm getting on okay. After that incident, Lime was a little more calm with me. Though apparently, she remained set in her unsettling, self-injuring ways. How oh, nice! I hope I can be a pack partner too soon. I'm shivering with excitement thinking about the ways I can play with them. By the way, does it seem like Fiona's going to use any demonic power? Hmm, who knows. If you took that man she's living with hostage, I bet she would, right? But we aren't supposed to force people to use it. Eh? But Fiona's in a heart pact. I think you should get that red jewel by any means necessary. Hmm. Huh? Could it be you're hesitating? For a human? Don't tell me. No way, no way, no way. Do you feel for her? <laughs> Not likely. 
Of course! <laughs> Good. Not like you, not like you would do something like that, Charlie. If you did, I'd have to give you a heartfelt disillusioning. Well, so why? Fiona's pregnant with a kid. What? And demonic pacts are inherited by children. I figured it'd be good to have at least one more human in the pact. I see! Good point! That's our Charlie, thinking gruesomely ahead. But that's what I love about you. Yeah! <laughs> Humans are no more than main... Wait, humans may normal may be no more than cattle. I'm assuming is what that meant to say. But it can't be hurt. It can't hurt to have more cattle. Yep, yep. Right, you are. All right then, I'm going back to work. As a safeguard in case you mess up, I'll be your public relations and spread rumor of the witch's heart far and wide. You <laughs> fucker! If Fiona doesn't want to use the witch's heart, you just need someone to kill Fiona and then use the witch's heart. Yeah, you're right. I'll be counting on you then. Thanks. We demons seek the red jewels you can get by establishing demonic, demonic pacts. The hemorrhoids? Red jewels contain enormous energy and are a source of the magic power we need. That's why we're able to grant humans wishes. I'll go post it on my Tomer blog that there's a witch's heart out there. <laughs> Fiona's child seems to have been born just fine. If it isn't Zizal, where why are you here? <laughs> you see, I'm the pack partner for Fiona's daughter. Ah, oh, I see. So that's it. So, poor Dorothy, hmm? Because her predecessor lost the contract, she can't cancel the pact even if she wants to. Ah, uh, is that why? And her daughter Fiona is pitiable too. Having a child without even knowing the fate that awaits them both. <laughs> that honor is of the witch's heart will always be unhappy. Yeah. I mean, until they just drink a fuck ton of wine and then they're fine, I guess. Uh, Fiona dead? Fiona dead? Fiona's fine? She didn't die during childbirth? You sure about that? <laughs> there, there. You do not look like uh, Claire at all. Welcome to our world. Thanks for being born, Claire. You're fucking welcome. You're my child, so I'm sure you'll grow up to be really cute. Oh, time for a nap already? Let's rest on the bed. <laughs> Cute. Let's have some amazingly happy days together, you and me. See how long that lasts, yeah. And wholesome this over in three, two, one. Oh no, it just ends there. I don't even get to see what happened to my mother. Hello, Zaisel! Looks like someone sent a letter. Wanna read it? A letter? Good day, good evening, good morning. Thank you for playing Witch's Heart. First of all, this marks the end of part one. I'm very grateful for you for sticking with the story for this long. Regarding the next continuation story, I intend to release it at a later date. When it's time to continue to the next part, I intend for it to be done by the crystals area found by leaving this room and going all the way to the left. As such, I ask you to please keep a safe file around that area. To any of you who are waiting eagerly, I hope to finish it as quickly as possible. I apologize for the inconvenience, but you'll have to wait just a little longer. I do absolutely intend to finish it, so I ask you to please be patient. Also, while I have done many test playthroughs, typo and bug reports would be much appreciated. Thank you once again. Well then, I hope you'll continue to follow the story of Claire and the company a little longer. Praying will meet in the bonus stage. 12, 25, 2017, Blue Star is. What the fuck does that mean? Are you sure that was addressed to me? Zizel, that didn't make any fucking sense at all. He was talking about a, a game or something? Oh, Jesus. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna buy something from the shop. Oh, no, this is the wrong shop. This is the wrong shop. 
I didn't even get any fucking extra stuff. I never got to speak to Lime that second time. Or that last time. Hello, hello, Claire. What you buying? Do you have anything new or do you still have just the same bullshit? Which is tonic. Said to be made by a witch. Full recovery. That's new. 64690 coins, yeah? I got a load of fucking coins in my fucking inventory, yeah? Oh, fuck, Ringo, stop. You're gonna make me come in my jimmies. What's this? You finished all of the available stories, so you can now revisit cleared areas. However, I haven't done as much testing as I usually would. There's a chance some bug could prevent you from returning to this room. Now, so I would advise you to skip the lot whenever you save stories. Also, you'll be able to advance the story without doing any demon requests. And lastly, in this version, not all demon requests can be related to some demons with a black or old world or a blessing with a blah 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 blah. Because the Robert Swamp's children providing stupid problem ingredients and then really didn't go to carry over the risk and it. Okay, fuck you, I'm gone. Alright, that was cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching a Witch's Hair, guys. I mean, obviously it's not over yet because we're going to do the bonus stage uh, t t tomorrow from when you're watching this video or perhaps later in the day from when you're watching this video, depending on how many we have. But I'm going to do a good old fucking, fucking save. I'm going to fucking save. I'm all lime. Jeez, seriously, they're all lime. They're all lime. It's crazy. Alright, save slot five. I'm going to type five here. Um, uh, five, and then I put in the Discord. Bye, there's the number five. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to do like an outro, which, uh, famously never goes well i mean i already tapped out so everything stopped moving so you get to watch in just stillness as claire stares deep into your eyes and you will fall into a deep sleep once i click my fingers now you will like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and share this video to all of your friends and family you will do your college thesis on my YouTube channel, going over my entire history and urging every one of your college compatriots to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Then, I will establish a vice grip over the entire world by indoctrinating everyone into my cult-like YouTube channel. And then, beyond. You may now wake up. Oh, that was weird, guys. You, bl you blacked out while I was talking to you there. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just finishing up this outro, so goodbye.